Emily Rubin at Ikea there. Now it walks, it talks, it even looks quite cute. Forget all those sinister sci-fi portrayals of robots and now meet Asimo, the world's most advanced walking robot. He's currently on a visit to the UK. It still takes a team of people and many thousands of pounds to set up each day, but it's hoped that a slimmer, lighter version will soon be ready for the shops, maybe within a decade. Sally Gould joined the children of the Almeida Middle School in Bedfordshire for a preview. Asimo, I think people are waiting for you. 20 years in the making and on display for six. Asimo's been entertaining children in Japan for years, not to mention the engineers who've been breaking new scientific ground in its creation. They took on the task of making a robot partly for fun Hello, and partly in the vague hope of creating a personal helper that might be marketable in decades to come. For now, it's on tour, impressing British children Damn. with its ability to look them in the eye and shake hands. Well, the original concept, concept was to create a robot able to help people and to be a benefit to society. And um, that was the goal from the beginning. At the same time, it was also a challenge for engineers because at that time, in 1986, a lot of scientists didn't believe that it would be possible to create a robot that could walk on two legs. Engineers say Asimo's ability simply to Nobody's walk tried, is the real achievement, steps. being able to move its center of gravity as it steps along. Um, Children fresh from the science lab were full of theories uh, into how that's, that's possible. Idea, is it because his feet are so wide they can hold him up? Did the joints in on top of his leg work to um, balance on. Like we have things in our ears that help us balance. He could like have this microchip somewhere in his body that helps him stand on one leg and not fall over. They're right. Uh, actually, uh, Asimo is equipped with an internal gyroscope. Who, like he's playing, it's playing the role that uh, our internal ear is playing with us. We are using Asimo now a lot uh, in our demonstrations to stimulate children to learn science. And Asimo is a, a wonderful demonstration that science and engineering can be really fun. It's also a work in progress. Its creators are dreaming of a time it will be the ultimate obedient part of the family. The children watching Asimo were clear on what they'd want a robot to do. One day, anybody can have a robot at home and then it can play with your kids, uh, it can do a lot of tasks for you, it can be an administrative help as well. So, Or as the kids said today, it can do my homework. Yes, that, that's not a good idea, we think. <laughs> <laughs> Sally Gould with Asimo. Our main headline this afternoon, police are now linking the murders of all five women discovered near Ipswich. They say they're interested in a number of suspects. That's it. We'll be back at 7. Until then, good afternoon.